your makeup looks like this you have to repent stop it now channel today's video is going to be about makeup so I'm going to be telling you some things that you should do and some things that you shouldn't do concerning makeup so it's going to be literally about a makeup do's and don'ts so before you want to know the do's and don'ts of makeup I need you to understand that you need to work on your skin so if you deal with acne or um, you break out a lot and if you have sensitive skin you need to look for products that will help you in that area before you start applying makeup on your face because i'm going to tell you now makeup actually contributes to what makes your skin bad so you need to have those products that will help you fight the breakout and the bad skin and everything it's really important because if you have good skin your makeup is going to look really really good okay so after talking about good skin let's just get right into the do's and don'ts so if you know that you have issues with makeup this is the time that you should go get your pen and jotter so you can write things down so you can take things hey hey hey, hey. sorry sorry all right guys so the first thing you need to know is skin prep after good skin you need to know about skin prep so there are some products that you should use before you actually start applying foundation and um concealers and the rest of it so the first thing is cleanse your face with white i already did that um but i forgot to show you so i'm just saying it now you need to wipe your face okay so i'm going to do that on the good side Alright guys, so the next thing you want to do after cleansing your face is to go in with your moisturizer. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you're just going to... Next thing you want to do is go in with your female primer. skin prep comes foundation and the first thing you need to know about foundation is to use your shade i can't i don't know i don't know what to say to people that don't use their foundation shade come on now your face cannot be fair and your neck is another color please you don't want to be looking like a clown or you don't want to be looking like you have multi colors on your face like that's just crazy now the way that i apply my foundation sometimes i use a brush sometimes i just use beauty blender put some some pumps on my hand here and i'm just going to use this little brush to you know apply on my face the next thing i want to do is to take my beauty blender and just you know blend so my routine is skin work first before i actually go into drawing my brows in case you're confused as to why i'm using foundation first can you guys already see how my foundation is sitting so well on my face and that's because i i did the needful I already did the skin prep and it's really important because it just makes your it just makes the product sit so well and it looks like skin so over to the don't side I'm going to be using a foundation that is a bit lighter so I'm going to use the classic foundation in shade one can you see that can you tell that this is not my foundation shade? I'm sure you can tell. Blend it. It's just. Don't rush. 
slow touch, brown and white. Please, I beg you in the name of God, don't use beauty blender like this. You are only smudging the products all over your face. You're not actually blending anything. This is horrible. Okay, so now that we're done with the do side and the don't side, the next thing we're going to do is to contour and highlight. This is the Ellie Girl concealer that everybody knows. This is the dark shade to contour by concealer. You have to apply it just here. To contour, you can either use a darker shade of foundation or a dark shade of concealer. Where you want to put your contour or your product is right here. You see this natural black line that is just on your cheek already? You just have to. Make sure you also blend the setting powder, press it into your skin. You know to get rid of harsh lines a lot of people sleep on setting their face and it's really bad you're supposed to set your face especially after you do highlighting and contouring so after you set your face you have to use powder a darker shade to set your contoured area go in with a shade that is a bit dark and then you're going to just gently set your face to define where you contoured. To contour my nose, I'm not going to use the same shade I used in um, setting my contour area on my face. I'm going to use a dark shade still, but not as dark as the one I used here. So I'm going to use Latte on this palette. Dust it off and then just apply in the place that you contoured to be drawing my brows next and I know that some people already have issues but this is the most interesting part of this tutorial I use you know edge control because it does the same thing as brow tamer to me but you could get a brow tamer or if you have edge control you could just take a bit on your spoolie and then apply it on your brows just a bit you don't want to put too much so this is tamed brows and nothing so after you tame your brows you want to let it dry a bit and then you start drawing so with your sharpened pencil you want to start from under draw a straight line to follow your already groomed brows you want your brows to be a bit closer to each other so you have to extend the line now you have to fill it in but gently you don't want it to be too dark also please buy brow pencils in shade 18 or 18b those are the um, best shades that you can use for your eyebrows. Please, I beg you guys, don't use black pencil to draw your brows. That is just going to make you look ridiculous. But yeah, I'm going to use blunt pencil. 
I don't want to use black because I don't want it to look too ridiculous. And I don't want to believe that anybody uses black pencil to draw their brows. So now I'm just going to draw it. Straight line on top. Please don't feel your brows like this. It's more fight. Do it gently. I promise you, I've seen people filling their brows like this. So I take the foundation from my arm and that's what I use to conceal the beginning of my brows and the end. So. To conceal the top of your brows, you have to use either a darker shade of concealer or your foundation itself now we're going to conceal this brow i'm going to be using a lighter shade of concealer And so after putting the color that I want to use on my eyeshadow, what I'm going to do is set my eyebrows with powder. This is how some people apply eyeshadow. I'm trying to be as realistic as possible guys i'm not even joking i see this thing on instagram every single day so i'm going to fix my lashes and um do eyeliner off camera i'll be right back all right guys so i fixed really lightweight lashes on this side of my eyes and then i drew my eyeliner some people don't even bother to <laughs> So I noticed that most people don't even bother to fix lashes and when they do fix lashes, they fix um, really synthetic lashes that are just really strong and um, how do I put it? Strong and stiff lashes. I don't want to spoil any brand, but there's this particular brand of lashes that people buy because it's really cheap. But I just want to tell you that you should please elevate, <laughs> upgrade yourself and start buying actual mink lashes or human hair lashes that particular lash that you always buy for like 500 naira or 300 naira or 150 it's not going to help you it's not going to do you any good so yeah that's it for lashes i don't have any synthetic lashes right now though, so i'm not going to fix anything on this eye so yeah I'm going to go in with powder shade in fair ivory which is not my shade 
but I'm going to do it anyway because a lot of people do this. realistic enough setting spray a lot of people don't own setting spray it just makes your makeup look like skin all right so you're going to wait for that to dry So now I'm going to use a black pencil. Like I said, I'm not trying to exaggerate how um, bad makeup looks like, but okay, let me just use a brown pencil. To be fair, they press on it so hard. And then I noticed something. Some people don't line their lips properly. They actually want to make their lips look smaller. So they line it <laughs> like this. Yeah, something like that. So you just want to go really easy. Like this side. You don't want to do too much. Like this side. And, and also, I don't understand people's obsession with putting so much highlighter on their nose. Like that's the least that's the last thing you want to do you just have to put a little bit of highlighter on the bridge of your nose here and here you need to put a lot because this is what because this is what some people do this is just terrible this is just horrible and then i noticed that people like to put highlighter here at the edge of your face why what, what does that do for you why would you want to do that you say oh i want to blind my enemies put the glow so that when i come out in the sun i will blind my enemies girl you're only blinding yourself you need to stop doing this rubbish want your eyes to pop so anytime i look at this side of my face i'm just so this side is so pretty you can see the brows are just looking all tinted and natural just did um simple nude lipstick without lip gloss you know a little bit sheer and not matte it's not matte it's not glossy either and then the highlighter is just you know sprinkle a little glow on your cheekbones and the contour is not so bad either all right guys so this is the end of my do's and don'ts video well thank you for watching my tutorial video if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video please like subscribe and share and um yeah i'll see you in my next video